Hi, this video will demonstrate how to create a community project on the Smart Plus Cloud Platform version 7.0.0. This video will cover 8 key parts. Introduction to the new installer portal. Create a community project, apartments and residence management, devices management, residence and devices batch import, upgrade devices, property manager accounts management, and subscriptions. The 7.0.0. Cloud Update brings a new management platform for installers. Start by logging into the platform with your installer account. Once you're on the dashboard, you can easily create sites using the quick links. You can also click the site icon to view and create specific sites. Click the project type to switch between different projects. The left functional column allows you to manage sites, users, devices, and account settings in an organized manner. Let's take a closer look at the modules available. The Users module allows you to manage Property Manager and Sub-Installer accounts effectively. Check the Firmware version in the Firmware module. And Upgrade Devices through the Upgrade module. The Mac library helps you track the added devices including their Mac addresses and installation details. As an installer, you can activate and renew Smart Plus services for users, user family members, property managers, etc. In the Settings module, you can configure coupon details, time zones, billing information, customer service contacts, account permissions, and notification emails for single-family projects. To change your account password, click your account name in the upper right corner and select Change Password. Now that you're familiar with the installer portal, let's get started on creating your community project. Click Add Community Site on the dashboard to set up the community features. Select the number of apartments in the community. Turn on the home automation service if smart home devices such as X933H are installed in the apartments. You can tap the smart home icon to redirect to the Akabella smart home portal. The community calls feature allows residents to communicate via smart plus apps and indoor monitors. Please note that this feature is available only if enabled by your distributor. The landline service is used for the communication between telephones and intercom devices. It is a premium feature in the feature plan. You can click Read Instructions to view the other differences between the basic and premium feature plans and select the desired one. Next, enter the community name. Select the community address. Select the time zone based on the community location. Choose your preferred date format. Set access control permissions for property managers. You can decide whether to allow them to create credentials for residents to access both public and private devices or just public devices. The contact display order determines the display order of user names on the device contact list. Select the PIN access mode. The PIN option allows for directly entering the PIN code for door access. The App Plus PIN option requires entering the combination of the apartment number and PIN code. You can select the community property manager or the installer to pay for the Smart Plus service. Set whether to send expiration emails to end users and property managers. If it is turned off, only installers will receive the notification. You can also set whether to send renewal emails to end users. Once you've set everything up, click Submit to save the settings. To continue setting up the community, click the More icon. Now we can start adding apartments and residents to the community. First, create buildings by clicking Add Building. Right-click to rename or delete it. Then, create an apartment in the building by clicking New on the right. Select the floor of the apartment. Enter the apartment number which will display on the door phone. Visitors can reach residences Smart Plus apps through their apartment number. Name the apartment. Select the specific Web Relay Action ID to trigger the Web Relay. Please note that the Web Relay should be first configured on the door phone's web interface. The Contact Preference feature includes Group Call and Sequence Call options. Group call allows for calling the resident's Smart Plus app and devices simultaneously. When sequence call is selected, you can choose three sets of numbers to be called in a sequential order. When group call is selected, continue to select the call type. For example, the Smart Plus and Indoor Monitors option initiates calls to both the Smart Plus app and Indoor Monitor. Last, select IP call or SIP call. If the devices are deployed in the same local network, you need to select IP call. If not, select SIP call. If you do not want to add residents right now, simply click Submit. To add a resident, click the Add Resident tab. 
Enter the resident's name and email address that is used to receive the Smart Plus notification emails. Select the language of the emails. Select the country, region which decides the area code of mobile phone numbers and landline numbers. You can set three landline numbers at most when the landline feature is enabled. Select the floor the resident can access. Don't forget to save the settings. After creating the resident account, you can click the edit icon to modify its information and add family members to the apartment. Click the edit icon on the right to change the information or delete the apartment. Scroll down and find the family member part. Click new to add a family member. You can create three family member accounts for free. Enter the family member account's information and click submit. You can also reset the apartment when the resident moves out to clear the resident's data. The resident's email, access credentials, messages, etc. will be deleted. While the intercom call, time zone, language settings and so on will be retained so that you do not need to set these up again. Let's move on to adding devices to the community. First, you need to define where the device is installed, a public area, a specific building, or the resident's apartment. If it is installed in the public area of a building, click the building name. Click Intercom Devices. To add a single device, click New on the right. For this example, let's add a door phone. Select the device type as Multi-Tenants Door Phone. Next, enter the device's MAC address. Then, select the network group. If the devices are deployed in the same local network, select the same network group so that they can communicate via IP calls. If not, select a different group. Select the contacts to be displayed on the door phone screen. The Does This Device Have Internet Access option appears only after AccuVox enables door phone offline solution for your distributor. It is used when the door phone cannot access the internet and has to call the Smart Plus app via an indoor monitor. If the device is connected to the internet, just keep the default yes option. Name the device. You also have the option to allow users to view the monitoring video through their Smart Plus apps, which is enabled by default. Enter the relay name, which can be the device location. If you allow the door phone's relay to be triggered by indoor monitors via DTMF, you can select the DTMF code that is the same as the indoor monitors. Or, just keep it default. Specify the unlock methods to trigger the desired relay. For example, if you select PIN as the access method for Relay 1 and select RF card for Relay 2, when users enter PIN codes on the door phone, only Relay 1 will be triggered and vice versa. You may need to reboot the device to make it online. If you want to add a resident's private device such as an indoor monitor, navigate to the app editing interface. Scroll to the Intercom Devices section. Click New. Fill in the device Mac. When the arming function is enabled, the arming icon will be available on users' Smart Plus apps for arming and disarming. Then, select the network group. The same network groups as other devices for IP calls. The different groups for SIP calls. Name the device. The Work Offline option is for door phone offline solution. When enabled, the specific indoor monitor can transfer calls from door phones without internet to the Smart Plus app. You can enable and name the indoor monitor's built-in relays. When the device is connected to an external relay, enable the external relay option. Then, specify the external relay type, external relay mode, relay name, and relay function. Click Submit to save the configuration. When there are many devices and users, you can import them in a batch with a template. Go to the site module. Click download the template. Fill in the template as instructed. Hover your mouse over the specific columns to view the instructions. Next, upload the template to the target community by clicking the import icon. A pop-up will inform you whether the import was successful or not. When the device has a new firmware version, you can upgrade it remotely through the cloud platform. Go to the upgrade module. Click new on the right. 
Select the site where the device is installed. Select the upgrade firmware model and version. Check the device. Select the time to upgrade the device, right now or at a specific time. If you want to reset the device to factory settings after upgrading, enable reset after upgrade. Click submit. Make sure you have read the change log before upgrading. You can check the progress of upgrading by the status column. Pending means the device is upgrading and it appears offline. Refresh the page and when it turns to executed, the upgrade is done. You can check the device's information to see whether the upgrade is successful or not. Go to where it is installed and clicking its info icon. Now we can add a property manager to manage the community. Back on the dashboard. Click new property manager. Enter the property manager's name. Enter the email address used to receive smart plus notification emails. Select the language of the emails. With monthly password update reminder enabled. When property managers log into the smart plus cloud platform, they will see a prompt every month reminding them to change their smart plus login passwords for security. Click Submit. You can send the password to the property manager for login. Go to a specific site and assign the property manager to the target community by clicking the property manager icon. Click Edit. Check the property manager account, move it to the right box, and click Submit. Enable the app option so that the property manager can use the Smart Plus app. Please note that using the property manager portal is free while using the app requires a monthly fee. You can click setting to manage the permission of the property manager. You can pay Smart Plus service fees for residents and property managers. Before paying fees, you need to select installer in charge mode when creating a community. Go to the subscription module and select community as the project type. Click next. Click activate. You can select a specific service type. Check the item and click next. Make sure that you have filled in the billing information and you can click the edit icon to modify the information. Agree to the terms and conditions before clicking pay. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to choose coupons, enter the card number, and finish the payment. Thanks for watching.